Today's topic, we talk about the effects of having poor oral hygiene in the mouth and how this can cause increased rates of strokes, cancer, heart attacks, diabetes, Alzheimer's, premature births. Obviously, these are things we need to be concerned about and letting them go can seriously affect our lifestyles, but also can cause increased death rates as well. Why I wrote this book. And this, this is, is something, something that people don't know or understand. So, I'll start off here. Who knows what the biggest um, disease in the world is today? It's actually gum disease. Okay? And it's been around for centuries. So, the teeth sit in the bone and are connected to the bone by little fibres and blood vessels. The two commonest diseases we hear of are tooth decay and gum disease. So what happens, uh, you can leave food on your teeth, it can get caught in between your teeth. The bacteria come in here and they live off food and that's what dental plaque is. If you leave it long enough it gets hard and calcified under your teeth and you need to get a, get a dentist at that stage or a hygienist to get it off for you, okay? The plaque releases little poisons and toxins and acids. The acids come out here and they can dissolve away, causing uh, holes in your teeth. But more importantly, it can come down here and start attacking the gums. So it starts to dissolve these little fibres away, causing pockets under your gums. You hear about the dentist talking about pockets and things like that. Well, that's how that works. But also, it'll come out here and start dissolving the, the bone away. And you can't make that bone grow back again. So eventually, the teeth will start wobbly, getting wobbly and fall out, sort of thing. Because they've got nothing to hold them in there. So if you notice things like bleeding and uh, bad breath, all these sorts of things can come from this gum disease. Aboriginals, for instance, um, they had no decay, literally no decay, but they had massive areas of gum disease, okay? And they used to grind the teeth down, right down flat, because they were eating uh, charcoal kangaroo and things like that. So they had different issues, but because we have a lot of sugar in our diets, and a lot of it's hidden sugars, we've got to be really aware of it, that this can really potentiate things. So. What's really scary about all this is all these products, these inflammatory products, they don't just stay there. And 10 years ago, they found out what happens to this. It goes off over here. And this is you. Much better looking, of course. And it starts um, attacking your brain. You know, you get all these things like Alzheimer's disease, increased diabetes, increased uh, cancer, increased strokes, increased heart attacks, increased premature births. And they've only found all this... Oh no, you're worried now. You should have, you should have told us about it. You should have told us all about it. Come through. So you've got to... This is one of the reasons why I wrote this book. Because people just don't know about it. Okay? And you need to be aware of it and you need to have it a good mouth, up to date, and to know how to manage it at home. Once you've got everything up to date, you should be able to look after yourself quite nicely. All right? So we're going to go through home care as well shortly. Um, one of the other things I just want to talk about quickly 